Barbarian's now in theaters and it's getting a lot of early buzz. IMDb has this sitting at 7.7 .7 right now and when I last looked there was 23 user reviews that definitely didn't look like they were put there by the marketing team. They speak very highly about the film. What I'm delivering you today is a spoiler-free review. This is gonna be a pretty fast one too because I want you to go in as fresh as a daisy if possible. That's how I entered this thing. And how I left? Disheveled. Broken. A sad, empty shell of a man who wonders why I even wasted my time. Here's the very basic premise. A woman named Tess goes to stay at an Airbnb. Things go awry. It turns out the place got double booked and Bill Skarsgård's also staying there. He plays Keith. A very socially awkward guy who comes off a little bit sus short for suspicious. There's a slow build for a little while, leading into what I could only imagine was at one point an interesting premise before something happened behind the scenes. I, I just can't, for the life of me, imagine this is the movie that they set out to make. It feels like something that was rewritten, repurposed, shelved, brought back, dusted off, and had another pass at. Because the movie has jarring beats from act one to act three, where you're following different people, things kind of connect back up, but you're left with so many questions. And by the way, I am gonna spoil the shit out of this film in another video, so please subscribe if you haven't. If, if you're new here, I'd love to hear in the comments, hey Adam, I was recommended this video, and man, what a roller coaster ride. I can't wait to hear more from you. I subscribed. I would appreciate that. So after about 30 minutes of buildup and possible potential, the thing falls completely flat for me. It goes in these weird directions and I just wasn't feeling any of it. I hated this movie. So did the other three people I went with. Uh, just kind of miserable all around. Very frustrated. It's one of those horror movies that every single decision the character makes is so beyond dumb. So completely inept. Frustrating doesn't even begin to describe the emotions I had. Production-wise, thing looks beautiful. Uh, visually, very pleasing on the eyes. The atmosphere is there. The music, all over the place, kind of like the rest of the plot. At some points, it's a, a slow build to something maniacal in the background. At others, it's almost got this weird, like, synth energy to it. It's very intense, but then we drop back again. It's, it's almost like there was two different composers on this, making two completely different movies. Now, some people will go to a film like this and like the fact that they don't know where it's going. It's keeping you guessing, it's keeping you moving around, but I didn't like every time it subverted expectations and brought me somewhere that was far less interesting than what they teased. There's not a lot of actors in this, but they all do a very good job, especially the actress that plays Tess. I really liked her as a character. Skarsgård, really awkward and uncomfortable, and I get that's what he's supposed to be doing. I just don't like when people say um all the time, and he says um like five million times. Um, 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 do you want to sit down? Um, do you want to, um, you want some tea? Do you want to, um, maybe go sleep on the couch? Um, 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 Bottom line, this movie wasn't for me, and that's about as generous as I can get. So if you were really excited for Barbarian like some of the other people I went with were, maybe temper expectations, maybe pare back. I'm not saying don't see it, you might enjoy it. But I watched the movie and it kept reminding me of other films that did it much better, and that's just not a good place to be. All right, again, I'm gonna scorch earth with this in the next video where I spoil it, so feel free to subscribe if you haven't. Like the video if you had a good time, Leave a comment if you're excited about this still, or if you saw it and you agree, and hopefully, I'll catch you next time. Bumper came up and you're still here, I appreciate that. Since you stuck around, maybe follow me other places like TikTok at Adam Does Movies, or Twitch at Adam Does Movies, where I not only stream video game plays, but also filming this show once in a while, chatting with the community there. We're really trying to build it up, so it'd be great if you join me. If you really want to do something cool, I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies, where I have a dollar tier, a five dollar, a ten dollar a month, and if you become a member there or on YouTube join here, you get access to over 300 exclusive videos. It's a great time, it helps me out, helps my channel out, it's a one-man operation. So again, I would appreciate anything you could do.